Hello everybody, I'm Tekosachu and this is another Men of War video. This is a 2v2 me and some guy against two other guys, and none of these people do I know. Um, this is on the Winter Church map, I think it's called. Uh, there's a church, I'll point it out later, and it's British versus American, so we're reenacting the Revolutionary War, uh, vaguely. And um, if you can read really quickly, you just saw the names of the people playing, but I didn't keep the score screen up for very long. And I am saying British things, because I figured, um, playing as the British, I should be saying British things. Uh, did I already say I bought a submachine gun squad? I guess I probably did, but these guys come with Sten guns. They're basically an iron tube that fires bullets. Maybe not iron, maybe it's tin. It's just a tube that fires bullets. It's a very simple gun. You could probably make one in your own home. But um, in any case, that's what the British use, and it's really not a bad gun. Um, it's about equal with all the other submachine guns. Of, of course, the Papushka Russian PPSH is the much better submachine gun. It's got 71 bullets, which completely outclasses all the other submachine guns, but um, among the other three, the MP40 for the Germans, the Tommy gun for the Americans, and the uh, Sten for the British, it's all about equal. Um, so I buy Daimler AC right off the bat. Um, the choices between that and a Tetrarch um, armored car, they're basically about the same. Daimler is a bit faster and it has much weaker armor, but they've got the same cannon. Um, I use this to mow down my opponent's infantry. Um, usually I like to buy a, a rocket launcher dude or um, a anti-tank rifle dude to deal with my opponent's vehicles, but lately I've started buying a light vehicle to deal with my opponent's vehicles. It's a bit risky because um, they can just as easily take you out as you can take them out, whereas with a rocket launcher or something you can hide in a bush. But the advantage is that it lets you mow down infantry, and this is good for me because I like to split my forces. You see I sent some infantry in the middle and some to the left. So I split my forces, and when my infantry on the left got owned, I still could take out his infantry, so that's good. Um, my opponent bought a Stuart, it's a very light tank, um, definitely more than a match for my Daimler. Uh, the Stuart generally better, it's got more armor and stuff, but he really misused it. He just drove straight at me when he knew I had something that could kill him, so he was hoping just to, you know, drive at me, I'd shoot at him, he'd shoot at me. He was just hoping to come out on top some Wild West fight. I stole the Tommy Gun there, because despite what I was saying earlier, I think the Tommy Gun is better than the Sten. But, um, yeah, that was not tactical on my opponent's part. You want to be tactical in Men of War. This is a strategy game. You don't want to just drive at them screaming, okay? Um, I, I will be probably the first person to endorse driving at them screaming. I think that's a fantastic tactic a lot of the time, but it didn't work right here because there was... I mean, there, there was no advantage to it. At least try and get the flank off, or at least try and scout me before you do that, because you're just driving into the unknown and hoping you pop the first shot off. Because even though the story is better than the... Uh, Daimler armored car, um, they can each penetrate each other. It's really a whoever draws first, fires first, wins sort of Wild West sort of showdown. Um, already in this match, at least a few times, you've seen me loot stuff. I picked up a Tommy gun. I think just now I picked up some grenades and some bandages. Um, especially in the early game, I find it's very useful. Uh, not even just in the early game, all the time. I find it's very useful to always be loading your men up with grenades and extra bandages. It gives them a lot of staying power, and it gives you a lot of options. If you just have basically an infinite supply of grenades, I'm getting shot at out of what I guess is the church, so which is why this is the Winter Church map. I'm not even sure if this map is called Winter Church. I might have been lying to you. Um, it's It's more of a courtyard sort of thing. It's I don't know, it's mixed-use residential housing plus church, interesting zoning laws right there. Uh, you see me trying to sneak around. I was trying to get the drop because he's he's hunkered down behind this wall. We're hunkered down behind this wall, although, of course, at this point, we're mostly dead bodies. So I figured, hey, I'm going to sneak around and totally get the drop on him. But, of course, the guys in the church spoiled the surprise, so I went prone to see if I could stay alive, but no, that didn't work. But it was a, it was a nice idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, I find salvaging grenades in medkits gives you a ton of staying power if you just pick those up whenever you have some free time. My ally demolishing this building because there were people in there. Take that house. Yes, exactly. Um, although now they look at it as more of a country lodge than it is a house. I don't think anybody lives there except like maybe the pr proprietors and then people like rent out rooms. But um, uh, salvaging medical bandages and uh, grenades gives you a lot of staying power, not just obviously because the medical bandages will let you heal yourself in the lull and stay alive longer, but um, grenades give you tactical options where if you're hiding behind a wall, you're pinned down, someone's shooting at you, you can just lob a grenade over and you don't have, even have to worry about like saving it for a good time. I don't know what he was doing with his bazooka man there, probably trying to flank my um, Daimler armored car, but he was just standing out in the open. So he's on fire now. Um, isn't that special? So. I am immediately going to run over to that bazooka man and take his bazooka because a bazooka is a terrible thing to waste. Um, 
But yeah, if if you can just salvage grenades all the time from dead bodies, especially allied dead bodies or even your own dead bodies, um, it just gives you a lot of tactical options. And whenever you're feeling threatened, you can just chuck a grenade. It gives you a whole lot of breathing room. You'll find your men stay alive much, much longer than if you uh, had to resort to shooting people. Um, I get a few flames off. My plan was to really torch this whole place, but unfortunately my opponent is one step ahead of me, has some people in this building, and just catches me unawares, shoots my man out. That could have gone a lot better. Flamethrower is extremely deadly in the middle uh, area. You might have seen a match long ago I shotcasted where me and Lollibo were doing a 2v2. We were playing Japanese. One of us bought the Flamethrower APC sort of thing, but things got five flamethrowers, drove it in the middle. Oh my god, it was carnage. And see, here again I steal grenades, and... um medkits and I immediately start using the grenade oh, over here I'm stealing a bazooka I immediately so I get him into a bush obviously so I, he'll be safe I immediately start using grenades to chuck it over um, you see I chuck one grenade that's not enough I chuck another grenade because I know there's so many people there and even now I'm taking even more grenades um, and I, <laughs> it certainly pays off he's forced to uh, he has to assault us he couldn't take a breather and just hit, hide behind that wall he had to keep running at me and the, he paid for it in lives which is um, moderately expensive not super expensive. I mean, you can't let charge lives to a credit card, but um, on the other hand, you can make more just with babies uh, and picking up more stuff. You see, I'm always picking up stuff. So here's my rocket launcher, dude. I was contemplating attacking the AT gun that you might have gotten a glimpse of with this guy because he's already behind enemy lines, but I decide that a bazooka is a terrible thing to waste, and, you know, I want to keep that around for when an opponent's tank shows up or something because that can penetrate even the strongest armor. That can penetrate a king of tiger if you get it from the back of the side or something. Um, it's got some fantastic penetration. So instead to deal with that AT gun, I decide to just send another infantryman over to the right. And the Apparently, at one point or another, the AT gun destroyed my armored car. And uh, he's happy with his AT gun, because you see the sandbags. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. There's those sandbags. He set those up, so he's going to... His AT gun is really not moving. When you see people set up sandbags, nine times out of ten, they're not moving. It's Often I set up sandbags and then move, just to mess with my opponent. But nine times out of ten, people aren't going to do that. So here's the tank I was waiting for. My opponent put that little red arrow, like, hey, watch out, there's a tank. And I'm like, you know what? I don't even care, because I got a bazooka. It's not even my bazooka, but uh, boom. So it took two shots. First shot took out the turret, and I would like to note, killed three of the tank crew. So even if um, that thing had driven off and to live a happy life, it would still be very reduced until he managed to recruit it, because it could have a gunner and a driver, but nothing else, not a loader or something. They would have to swap positions. It wouldn't have a gunner on top to spot infantry. And so, of course, I come up around behind and kill the AT gun, too. So, But in, in any case, I killed the Sherman a second time. The hole is only crushed, not destroyed. Um, <laughs> I steal this AT gun because I feel like I want to shell him in the middle, but I'm feeling more and more exposed the longer I sit there, and I realize he's not really going to shoot anyone with an armor-piercing shell. So, like, it's just, like, get off the AT gun. And, um... I decided to blow up the Sherman, because like I said, it's just hull crushed, so um, it, he can re repair it eventually. But I didn't get manage to get that dynamite off. I keep forgetting to drag a dynamite hotkey into my hotbar. That is a really useful one to have. A dynamite, a lay dynamite hotkey. Obviously, it only works if your guy has dynamite, but yo, believe me, when your guy has dynamite, you usually want to get it out there fast. Like You don't have a lot of time to fiddle around if you steal dynamite from a Sherman and people are shooting at you. So really, if I had been one second faster, I probably could have taken that Sherman out and the AT gun out, whereas now the AT gun is recruited and he could theoretically repair the Sherman. Um, I'm going to toss a grenade over this house. I'm in direct control. I'm slightly worried it's going to hit the lip of the house, but, um, you know, I just risk it and throw it, and it manages to work, and that guy got fucked. Six ways to Sunday. They're not... I guess there are six ways to Sunday. There's Monday through Friday and Saturday. I, maybe that's what that expression means. I don't know. I just say things without knowing what they mean. Uh, so I bought another submachine gun infantry... Dude, the astute watcher will realize I have not bought anything except for submachine gun infantry, a flamethrower, and an armored car the entire game. And um, you have seen many a wide variety of tactics from me. You've seen me use a bazooka to shoot people. You've seen me set things on fire. You've seen me throw grenades over buildings and ledges. You've seen me steal AT guns. You've seen me try and lay dynamite. You've seen me um, sneak around to the sides and the back. You've seen me do all sorts of things, and this is just with three units. And frankly, could have been done with just one unit if I hadn't said the part about setting things on fire. And it can be done with two units if I had said the part about setting things on fire, because I haven't, didn't use my armored car for anything except shooting the steward and wiping out his first batch of infantry. And that's um, one of the actually big uses of armored cars, in fact, wiping out the first batch of opponent's infantry. Not a lot of people buy infantry right off the bat. I'm one of them. I bought a mortar, maybe you noticed. Um,